Namaste and peace and blessings. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me here today in our Hatha Yoga Flow. I ask that you find yourself in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a cow face. I invite you to sit in a cow face. Easy seat, lotus, half lotus, whatever feels good for you. May you find your seat. Allowing ourselves to get comfortable here today. Taking a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Holding a breath. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Maybe you notice how the exhale relaxes and soothes your body. As we gaze downward towards the earth, using the down gaze and our breath to help relax and soothe our minds and our bodies here today. Inhale. Exhale. Noticing how we feel as we bring our palms together at heart center. Seated prayer. Continuing to gaze down. Inhale. Holding a breath. Exhale through the mouth. Relaxing the body. Exhale our hands down towards the earth beside our bodies. Chin slightly up, shoulders are nice and tall. Spinal cord is nice and long. Tummy is tucked nice and tight. Gazing down. Inhale. Exhale, seated twist right side, allowing our left hand to come towards our right. Our right hand goes behind our backs as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder. We'll hold this pose for four breaths. Exhaling back to center, back in our seated pose. Spinal twist opposite side, taking our right hand, placing it towards the left, bringing our left hand behind our bodies as we softly gaze over our left shoulder, feeling the spinal twist here, nice and easy. Exhaling back to center, bringing our palms above our head, seated salute, tummies nice and tight. Maybe we can bring our palms together, holding a pose, lifting our shoulders up towards our ears, feeling our bodies getting nice and long. Inhale, exhale down, seated prayer, bringing our palms at heart center. Relaxing our bodies here, noticing how we feel as we continue to gaze downward towards the earth. Inhale, hold the breath. Exhale through our mouth, using our down gaze and our breath to continue to relax and soothe us here today. Noticing how we feel, allowing both of our hands to fall towards the sides of our bodies, palms facing downward, shoulders up nice and tall, spinal cord is nice and long, our tummy is tucked. As we lift our left arm up in the air, slightly leaning towards the right, feeling our side bend here. Left arm comes up above the head, body leans towards the right, 
shoulders come nice and soft. Our right shoulder is relaxing downward towards the earth. Holding this pose for four breaths, engaging our abdominal muscles here. Exhale back to center, nice and easy. We are not in a rush here. We are taking our time, focusing on self-care here today. As we lift our right arm up in the air, leaning our bodies towards the left, allowing our right arm to go over our head as our body bends, feeling this side bend. Allowing our shoulder to relax towards the side. Tummy is nice and tight. Exhale back to center. As we inhale back up, hands above the head, seated salute. Relaxing our bodies. Exhale down the seated prayer. Ensuring that our shoulders are nice and tall. Our back, spinal cord is nice and long. Our tummy is nice and tight. Gazing downward towards the earth. Inhale. Completely relaxing the body. Bringing our legs to an easy seat. Shoulders are up nice and tall. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Placing our hands in front of our legs as we do a seated cat cow. Lifting our chest forward. Our chin goes up in the air. Noticing how this cow pose feels in our body. As we exhale to cat, chin goes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes out towards the back. Exhaling back to our cow, chest comes forward, chin comes up. As we do a couple of cat-cow rotations to our natural breath. Ensuring that we are keeping our tummy nice and tight. We are working our spinal cord here, relaxing our bodies. One more cat cow. Finding our bodies back and center. Palms above our head, seated salute. Palms together. Exhale, seated prayer. Relaxing our hands beside our bodies. Gazing downward, tummies nice and tight as we flow our bodies to our table pose. Ensuring that our hands are beneath our shoulders. Noticing how we feel as we drop our bodies down to our cow. Chin comes up, back is sunken. Noticing how we feel. Exhaling to cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes up in the air. Flowing back to our cow as we do a couple of cat-cow rotations to our natural breath. Two more rotations. Finding our center, finding our paws in our cat cow. Gazing forward, noticing how we feel. Our tummy is nice and tight as we flow our bodies to our bird pose. Right leg goes to the back nice and high. Left arm goes forward, our tummy is nice and tight as we feel our body's balance here. Feeling our arms strengthen here. 
We'll hold this pose three more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Exhaling down to our table. Dropping down to our cow. Chin up in the air. Filling our spinal bend here. Exhale to our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Back to our table. Bird pose opposite side. Left leg goes to the back nice and high. Right arm goes forward. Tummy's nice and tight. Feeling our body's balance here. Gazing forward. Holding a breath. Exhale. Two more natural breaths here. Breathing knee to elbow. Back to bird pose. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to our bird. Flow into our table. Dropping our bodies down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. As we do a couple of cat-cow rotations. <sighs> Flowing back to our table. Ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart as we flow to our thread the needle. Right arm goes out to the side. As we thread our right arm through our left, allowing our bodies to come down towards the yoga mat. And if we want to go deeper in our thread the needle, we can lift our left arm up in the air and wrap our left arm around our backs if we choose. We will hold this pose for six breaths. Slowly unwrapping the arm, unthreading our needle back into our table, thread the needle opposite side, left arm goes out to the side as we thread our left arm through our right, body goes down. We can go deeper in this pose by lifting our right arm in the air and wrapping our right arm around our backs. We'll hold this pose for six more breaths. <sighs> Slowly unwrapping that arm, unthreading that needle, back to our table, dropping down to our cow, chins up, exhaling to our cat, coming back to our table as we flow to our first downward dog. Noticing how we feel here. Maybe we can gaze back at our feet, ensuring that our body is not sunken, it's not sinking down. We want to be nice and high in our down dog. Hmm. Feeling a stretch here. We're going to hold this pose for three more breaths. Making our down dog nice and long. 
pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. Ensuring that we are nice and high, nice and tall, feeling nice and strong here in our down dog. As we pedal our feet, walking our dog. Hmm. Feeling the stretch, pushing our bodies upward. Not sinking down, coming up. Tummy is nice and tight. Inhale. Exhale up to our upward dog. Gazing upwards, noticing how this feels in our backs, in our bodies, in our necks. Holding this pose, two more breaths. Exhale back, downward dog. Hmm. Gazing back at our feet or gazing forward at our hands. Whatever feels good for you, we are feeling our stretch and our down dog in any way that feels best for us. <sighs> Exhale, upward dog. Feeling our body strength in here. Breathing our bodies to a high plank. Holding a pose. Feeling our body strengthen. Walking our fingers, our hands inward slightly as we hover our ribs. Because we're going to drop our bodies down to a chaturanga. Exhale down, chaturanga. Hovering over our yoga mat. Exhale up to our cobra. We are working our arms, building strength. Exhale, upward dog. Inhale down to Chaturanga or Cobra. Exhale back up to Upward Dog. Flow into our Down Dog. Building our strength here. <sighs> Gazing forward, tummy is nice and tight. Three-legged dog, right legs in the air, nice and high, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Gazing forward, right knee, right elbow, holding it, building that strength. Back to three-legged dog. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged dog. <sighs> Knee to elbow, holding it, building that strength. Three-legged dog. <sighs> Exhaling, down dog. Inhale, upward dog. Building strength, down dog. Three-legged dog, opposite side, left legs in the air, nice and high. Holding a pose, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Knee to elbow, building strength. Back to three-legged dog. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Noticing how we feel. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, upward dog. Holding a pose, two breaths. <sighs> Exhale, child's pose. Relaxing our bodies here. Using the breath to calm and soothe. Allowing our forehead, third eye chakra to relax downward on the yoga mat. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. We'll hold this pose for eight breaths. <sighs> nice natural breaths here.
two more breaths. Slightly gazing forward as we walk our fingers towards the front of our yoga mat. Feel in a stretch here. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. Waving our bodies back to our table. Maybe we can do a couple of spinal waves before we find pause in our table, if we choose. In our table, flowing up to down dog. Holding our down dog, tummy is nice and tight. Inhale. Exhale down, forward fold. Maybe we can flow into a ragdoll, hugging our elbows from side to side. Exhale, forward fold. Coming up on our fingertips and our fold. Breathe into our half forward fold. Hands are beneath our knees, back is straight, chin up. Lightly gazing forward, ensuring that our abdominal muscles are nice and tight. Relaxing our bodies. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Breathing back to our half, forward fold. Bending at our knees. <sighs> Arms go to the back, parallel with our hips and our buttocks, gazing forward as we shoot up to our Tadasana, or as we shoot up to our standing salute. <sighs> Palms together, standing prayer. Now we breathe down to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. Palms facing forward, shoulders are relaxed. Hmm. Inhale, back up, standing salute, palms above the head. Maybe bringing our palms together, interlacing our fingers, all except our index fingers. Allowing our chest to come forward as our arms fall to the back. Filling this back bend here. Tummy is tight. We'll hold this pose, three breaths. Back to our standing salute, holding our standing salute. Palms together above our head. Exhale, standing prayer. Gazing forward, shoulders are relaxed. Tummy is nice and tight. Inhale, standing salute. Palms above the head. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relaxing our bodies as we flow to our standing crescent moon, right side. Noticing how this feels within our bodies. Holding the pose, two more breaths. Exhale, back to center. Standing crescent moon, opposite side. Exhale, back to center. Palms together above our head. Exhale down, standing prayer. Gazing forward, relaxing our shoulders, ensuring that our feet are hip distance apart. Breathe down, breathe down, chair pose. Tummy's nice and tight, filling our gluteus maximus and our quadriceps working here. Maybe we can bring our palms forward, slightly up in the air. Holding our chair pose, building our strength here, working our thighs. Two more breaths. 
Bringing our palms together, palms and heart center in our chair pose. Holding it here. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Chair pose, twist, right side. Holding this pose, three breaths. Exhale to center. Chair twist, opposite side. Exhale back to center. Complete forward fold, relax in the body. Fill in our stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings. <sighs> Exhale to ragdoll. Back to complete forward fold. Breathing to our half forward fold. Yogi walking our feet to the edges of our, mat, of our mats if we choose. Bringing our palms together at heart center as we flow our bodies down to our yogi squat. <sighs> palms and elbows are inside of our legs, inside of our thighs, gazing forward, tummy is nice and tight. Noticing how we feel. Holding this pose for two more breaths. Allowing our hands to relax down on our yoga mat. Our hands are flat on the floor in front of us as we stand, complete forward fold. Relaxing our knees, feeling the stretch here in our hamstrings. Gazing slightly forward, allowing our hands to come back flat on the mat. Maybe we can bend our knees if we choose. Yogi walking our feet even further apart as we play with our crow or our crane pose, whatever pose feels good for you. Maybe play with the pose. If we're not able to get into crow or crane, we can come into our crow pose. Knees are on the edges of our elbows on the side and slightly just lift up one foot at a time. Just building strength and preparing our bodies for crow or crane. Whatever feels good for you, We'll do a couple of those taps, or we can just flow our bodies right on into crow or crane. And we'll hold this pose for five to six breaths. Relaxing out. Coming back up to our yogi squat, gazing forward, inhale, exhale, relaxing the body. Hands are on a yoga mat, yogi walking our feet together, bringing our knees together, coming up on our knees, finding ourselves in a kneeled position, inhale, Exhale, bringing our buttocks to our heels of our feet, finding ourselves in a hero's pose. Noticing how we feel, allowing our bodies to come forward, hands comes to the front of the yoga mat as we prepare our bodies to go into puppy pose. Arms go forward, tummy is nice and tight. We'll hold this pose for a couple breaths. <sighs> Using this pose to relax our bodies. <sighs> Gazing forward, slightly walking our knees a little further apart as we come into our child's pose. Allowing our torsos to relax between our thighs. Our heart chakra maybe is now touching the yoga mat, connecting to the earth. Noticing how this feels in our bodies with our heart chakra touching the earth, connecting and feeling the energies of the earth 
of the universe as we relax down here in our pose and any child's pose we choose we'll hold this pose for eight breaths Slightly gazing forward, walking our fingers to the front of our yoga mats. Feeling a stretch here as we rock our bodies from side to side. Noticing how this feels, relaxing our bodies. Spinal waving our bodies back to our table. Maybe throwing a couple of spinal waves as we choose. If not, we can hang out in our table for a couple breaths. <sighs> Finding our paws in our table. Pushing our bodies back up to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Gazing forward. Nice long dog here. Three-legged dog, right side. Right legs in the air, nice and high. Breathe in. Exhale, right foot to right hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Holding our runner's lunge. Rocking forward, rocking backwards. Seeing how we feel. As we flow our bodies to our pyramid, extended front stretch, allowing our bodies to fall over that front leg, feeling the body stretch here. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Exhaling forward, back to our runner's lunge, allowing our left knee to drop down, Walking our right foot to the edge of our yoga mat, bringing our right arm inside. Noticing how we feel as we drop our bodies down to our lizard. In our lizard, we can keep that left knee on the ground or we can lift it up, whatever feels good for us. We'll hold this pose for four breaths. Relaxing back down. Coming back up to our runner's lunge. Back up to our pyramid. Hmm. Relaxing our body. Inhale. Coming slightly forward. Exhale. Downward dog. Gazing back at our feet. Feeling a stretch here. Gazing forward. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg's in the air, nice and high. Exhale, left foot to left hand, runner's lunge. Noticing how we feel, rocking our bodies forward and backwards as we come up to our pyramid, leaning over that right, leaning over that left leg. Holding this pose, a couple more breaths. Noticing how it feels. Hmm. Coming back to our runner's lunge, dropping down to our right knee. Walking our left foot to the edge of our yoga mats, bringing our left arm inside of our leg. Noticing how we feel, dropping our bodies down to our lizard. In our lizard pose, we are working on our splits. Preparing our bodies to get into split. We can stay on our knee and our lizard, or we can come off that knee, whatever feels good for us. We'll hold this pose, four more breaths. Relaxing that knee, coming back up to our runner's lunge, back to our pyramid. Back to our runner's lunge, breathe in, exhale, down dog. Hmm. Breathing up, upward dog. Feeling a slight back bend here. 
Exhale, down, child's pose. We'll hold that child's pose for seven breaths. <sighs> Completely relaxing our bodies here in our child's pose. Using the breath to relax and, and soothe. Going inward. Inhale. Exhale. Gazing forward, spinal waves. Or we can come into our table, whatever feels good for us. Hmm. Finding ourselves in our table, flow into our down dog. Noticing how we feel here, building strength, flowing up to our high plank, holding our plank. Tummy is nice and tight. Breathe in. Exhale to our side plank. Holding this side plank, three breaths, building strength. Exhale down, downward dog. Back to our plank, high plank. Exhale inside plank, opposite side. We'll hold this pose, three breaths. Exhale back to down dog. Breathing up to our high plank. Hovering over our ribs. Coming down to our chaturanga. Exhale to our cobra. Ensuring that our shoulders are away from our ears. Chin slightly up. Exhale back to child's pose or puppy pose. Gazing forward, walking our hands to the front of our yoga mat, feeling a stretch here. Waving our bodies to our table. Couple spinal waves. As we find pause in our table pose, flowing our bodies up to our down dog. Three-legged dog, right side. Bending that right foot towards that opposite buttocks. Blowing over to the wild thing. Feeling a stretch here. Exhaling out. Back to our down dog. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left legs in the air. Bringing that left foot to our buttocks. Feeling a stretch as we fall over to our wild thing. Exhaling back to our down dog. Hmm. Flowing forward to our up dog. Coming down to our knees, flowing our bodies back to our hero's pose. Noticing how we feel. Gathering our breath here. Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale to our knees. We are in our kneel position. We're going to work on our camel here, allowing our hands to relax at our lower backs. <sighs> Inhale, relaxing the body. Exhale. Relaxing the mind and body. In our camel pose, we can keep our hands on our lower backs, or we can bring our hands to our heels or we can bring our hands behind our backs and bound our hands together behind our backs. Or we can do all three. Whatever feels good for you, we are going to flow back into our camel pose. 
and we're gonna hold this pose for seven breaths. And any camel that feels good for you. Coming out of the camel, coming back to our hero's pose, lowering our bodies down to our puppy pose or our child's pose, whatever feels good for us. Relaxing in this pose for eight breaths. Three more breaths. Slightly gazing forward, walking our hands to the front of the yoga mat, feeling the stretch. Waving our bodies to our table pose. Holding the table pose for a couple breaths or do spinal waves, whatever feels best for you. Hmm. Back in our table, flowing to our down dog. Right leg goes in the air, three-legged dog. Right foot, right hand, runner's lunge, flowing our bodies to our warrior two. Hmm. Feeling our body stressing here as we flow to reverse warrior. Exhale to extended side angle. Flow back to warrior two. Inhale, warrior one or high lunge. Framing that front foot. Going into our pyramid, feeling that stretch here. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at the feet, or gazing forward. Ensuring our tummy is nice and tight. Left foot is in the air, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot, left hand, runner's lunge. Feeling a stretch, warrior two, opposite side. Breathe in, exhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Back to our warrior two. Feeling our body strengthen. Breathe forward, warrior one, or high lunge. Bend forward, pyramid. Straighten out that front leg. Exhale, down dog. Holding a pose, two breaths. Gazing forward or gazing at our feet, whatever feels best for you. Listening to your body. Breathing forward to our high lunge. I'm sorry, to our upward dog. Exhale to our child's pose, relaxing the body. Wide legged child's pose. Finding our pause here, finding our bodies relaxing here.
slightly gazing forward, walking our hands to the front of our yoga mat, waving our bodies to our table. Hmm. Coming up to our hero's pose. Buttocks to the heels of our feet, shoulders are nice and long. Inhale up to kneel, salute. Exhale down to prayer. Crossing our feet behind us as we find ourselves in a seated pose, maybe in an easy seat, lotus, half lotus. Noticing how this feels in our bodies, chest is forward. Allowing our hands to relax at the front of our feet as we lift our chest forward, seated calf cow. We are in our cow. Exhale into our cat. Breathing forward to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Coming back to center, noticing how we feel. Spinal twist right side, gazing over that right shoulder. Exhale and back to center. Spinal twist opposite side, gazing over that left shoulder. Exhale and back to center, seated salute, palms above the head. Exhale down, seated prayer. Relaxing the body, allowing both feet to come forward, staff pose. Noticing how we feel, leaning forward in our staff pose, relaxing the body, staff pose, or seated forward fold. Two more breaths. Coming back up to our staff pose. Allowing our bodies to come onto our backs. We're gonna work on, we're gonna bring our knees to our chest. Knees to our chest. <sighs> Noticing how this feels, relaxing the body. <sighs> Hugging our knees into our chest. Exhale, legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose, invisible wall. Our shoulders are relaxed back towards the mat. Tummy is nice and tight. Holding our legs up. Noticing how this feels. Bringing our hands to the lower inner parts of our legs and allowing our legs to fall to the side. We are going to do a reclined wide legged split. Noticing how this feels within our bodies. Using our hands to push our legs towards the side. Feeling our bodies relaxing here. Feeling our bodies stretch and strengthen. Using our hands to bring our legs back together. Reaching down and bringing our legs towards our bodies, towards our face. Oh, noticing how this feels. <sighs> legs to body stretch. Holding this pose for four breaths. Exhale, relaxing the legs back in the air, legs on the wall. <sighs> Holding the pose, bringing our knees in towards our chest. Noticing how that feels as we allow our knees to fall towards the left. We're going to do a reclined spinal twist here. Knees to the left, right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t as we gaze over that right arm. Relaxing our shoulders downward and backwards into our yoga mats. Noticing how this feels. Exhaling back to center. Hugging our knees into our chest. Spinal twist opposite side. Knees fall towards the right. Left arm goes out towards the side. Gazing over that left arm. Exhale, 
exhaling back to center, bringing our knees back to our chest, hugging them in. Legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose, noticing how that feels. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs in the back, bringing our legs towards our bodies, feeling our leg to body stretch. Exhaling back to legs on the wall, bringing our knees into our chest, crossing our feet at our ankles, lifting our bodies up to our boat pose. Holding our bodies in our boat pose, uncrossing our ankles, noticing how this feels. Feeling our bodies balanced, feeling our abdominal muscles working here. Legs are up parallel with our arms. Holding a pose, four more breaths. Tummy is nice and tight. We're gonna breathe up. We're gonna work on a boat pose variation. We're gonna bring both our feet towards our hands, keeping our tummies nice and tight. Legs are still in the air. Lifting our left leg towards the side, straight out like a V. Noticing how that feels. Gathering our balance, keeping our tummies tight. If this feels okay, we're gonna bring our right leg out towards the side. Noticing how this feels, both pose variation. As we slowly allow our legs to come towards the side, ensuring that we are keeping our balance and keeping our back as straight as possible. Holding this pose for six breaths. Bringing our knees back in, keeping our legs in the air, allowing the bottoms of our feet to connect as we relax our bodies down to our butterfly. Positioning our bodies to feel comfortable here. Chest comes forward, we are in a butterfly cat cow. Holding our feet together, bringing our chest forward, noticing how this feels in our bodies. Chest is forward, we are in our cow. Exhaling back to our cat. Coming back forward to our cow, noticing how this feels. Coming back to neutral, we are back in our butterfly, noticing how we feel, using our hands to push our legs downward towards the earth as much as we can without causing any pain. Relax in our bodies here. Inhale. Hold in a breath. Exhale. Relax in the shoulders. Allow our hands to come to the center of our yoga mat as we allow our bodies to lean forward, walking our bodies forward, butterfly, forward fold. Noticing how deep we can go. Hmm. Slightly coming back up to our butterfly as we bring our feet a little bit further away from our body, finding ourselves now in our diamond pose. Now we try to lean forward in our diamond pose and noticing how deep we can go in this pose. Holding this pose for three more breaths. Nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. As we find our bodies back into our butterfly, using our hands to bring our knees and our legs together. Falling back onto our backs, bringing our knees back to our chest. Hmm. Allowing our feet to fall flat on the floor, our knees are up in the air. We're gonna work on our bridge pose here. Using our feet to lift our buttocks up off the yoga mat, noticing how that feels. Coming back down to the yoga mat. Using our feet to once again lift our buttocks off the yoga mat, feeling our hips come high in the air. Noticing how this feels. And if this feels okay, maybe we can go deeper in our bridge pose by allowing our hands to come underneath our backs, interlacing our hands beneath our buttocks, and walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing our chest comes higher in the air. 
We'll hold this pose for four breaths, noticing how this feels. Our gluteus maximus here, our buttocks, is getting nice and tight. We just worked our abdominal muscles, so we might as well work our gluteus maximus here. Working on our buns of steel. Maybe we can work on a one-legged bridge pose by lifting our left foot off the ground and allowing our left foot to relax on our right thigh. We'll hold this for three breaths. Relaxing that feet, both feet are on the ground. One-legged bridge opposite side, lifting that right foot off the ground, allowing that right foot to relax on our left thigh. Three more breaths. Exhaling back down to our bridge. <sighs> Relaxing our bodies. Noticing how this feels as our bodies come high up in our bridge. Three more breaths. Uninterlacing our fingers. Relaxing our bodies back down. Bringing our knees back to our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. Noticing how this feels. Relaxing our bodies. Lifting our legs up in the air. Inhale. Exhale. Reaching down to the lower backs of our legs and bringing our legs and feet towards our body. Feeling our reclined stretch here. Lower legs towards our body. Back to legs in the air, legs on a wall. Hands in the air, reclined wide leg is split. Allowing our legs to fall towards the side, noticing how this feels. Relaxing the body. Bringing our legs back in together. Knees back to chest. Allow both legs to relax. Downward in our savasana. Maybe we can reach up and grab a blanket or something to cover up with. Holding this pose, our legs are side by side. Our heels of our feet are touching. Maybe we can allow our, the heels of our feet to fall. Maybe we can allow our feet to fall towards the side, completely relaxing our legs. Allowing our shoulders to relax back into the yoga mat. Gazing our eyes downward. Allowing our bodies to completely relax here in our Savasana, aka rest pose. Maybe we can slowly roll onto our side into a fetal pose and notice how we feel in that position. And we'll hold this pose for 45 to 60 seconds.
we are we can stay in our rest pose or a fetal pose if we choose we don't have to sit up we can continue here and continue to relax and meditate however if you choose to in this session right now I ask that we slowly rotate our ankles wiggle on our toes wiggle on our hips and our torso awakening our bodies softly and slowly opening our eyes if we choose as we push our bodies up from our fetal pose finding ourselves in our seated position any seated pose that feels good for you and that's most comfortable for you may you find that seat if you decided to sit up that is feeling nice and relaxed gazing downward towards the earth Bringing our palms together at heart center. Continuing to gaze downward. Noticing how we feel, noticing our experience here today, and thanking ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you here today. It was truly a pleasure and I am grateful. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. And I hope I get to see you again on the mat. Peace and blessings be to you. And have a good day, evening, or night. Namaste. And I am Sister Moon. Thank you. Until next time. Thank you again.